Welcome back to Tip of the Week by CAD Tech Seminars. You can find us on the web at therevitguys.com. We do training support for Revit uh, anywhere in the world. So go ahead and give us a ring if you have any questions or check out our website. In this tip, we're going to go in and talk about how to use this feature we set up in the previous video in a logical format. So let's say we got this building, we're going to pretty much rip all the electrical out and rewire it up in a different way. So we have to actually go ahead and, and, and kind of get that up and going. So I want to show a view that's going to have my uh, demo and existing. I want to show a view that's going to have new in it. So what I may do is go in and just create a view like this, level one, and I'll go ahead and duplicate it. Duplicate, okay. Now I'm going to take this one here. I'm going to go ahead and let's say rename this one. And we'll just go back to that original. Okay, so here we are. And I probably should have, let's go ahead and delete that one. Duplicate with, duplicate view with detail. And it's going to take the wire with it. Now I'm going to take one of these, and we can use this one, I'll rename it, and I'm going to call this my uh, level one, let's say, demo plan. Okay, tap on, demo plan. So much for my typing. All right, so uh, here we go, level one demo plan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and put in everything that's either going to remain or be demoed. So I'll kind of move my way around here, grab this element, uh, CS, create similar, and I'll start putting in everything that's in existing the existing conditions, right? So I'll just go on and I'm putting them all in, life is good. Now I know all these are existing, either existing to remain or they're gonna be demoed. I, I do know that, let's say. Now, if I wanna show the wiring, I can either just draw arcs, which are fine, or we can come in here and actually create circuits. Um, power, power them up, and I put in an arc like so. So at this point, let's say we're gonna take out all of this and all this is gonna be existing to remain. So what I'll do is using big sweeps, um, go through, and I may turn my spaces off. That way it won't bother me. Uh, let's say hide in view category just for the moment. And I can come in here and say, okay, this run here, uh, that is existing to remain. I just check that and I turn this off, okay? So notice how it grays out, pretty nice. Okay, we're gonna demo this whole room. I come through here, grab all that. Okay, you will be demoed, um, existing to remain, no. And notice they, they're starting to color code out. So again, all right, that's working pretty good. So I can go through here and actually set up all, all the stuff. And let's say these are going to be also existing to remain. So existing to remain and turn that off. Now, if you haven't watched the previous video, we set up these up. Now, it either we want it to have yes or no. If it has a, a, a gray check mark in it, it means it's null and it's nothing's in there. So it, it, it's, um, uh, it's not a yes or no. So notice this, this view is looking pretty good. Now it's time to do my new work. And you're thinking, ah, oh, it's going to be a pain. But notice this demo plan is perfect. So let's go to this one. I want to just duplicate it again. Duplicate the view. Duplicate with detailing. So it brings everything over. Uh, now in this one, I'm going to rename it. And I'm going to say, I need uh, this, my, this is going to be my new work. I'll actually just call it new work. I hit OK. So what I'm going to do is, in the new work plan, I double click on it. And uh, so here we are, make sure we're active, and type in, let's say, VV. Well, first thing is, uh, in my filters, I don't want to see my demo. So I say, go away. Demo goes away. I hit OK. You'll notice that I can still see all of my uh, existing to remain. Now, I may not want to see the wires in here, so I can go ahead and, and get rid of the wire. Again, that's going to be your uh, up to you on what you want to show or not show. But th those are uh, existing to remain, and maybe I don't know exactly how that wire is going to leave my stuff. Time to put new stuff in. Now I come up top, top, and I'll just grab one of these, CS it, and I'll start popping it in. Now being that it doesn't have the information, see over here it says, is it to remain or is it not to remain? I move on around, and I'm putting it in. Now one of the problems that's happening is, I put them in, everything is beautiful here. Like, yeah, print this thing up. Let's go back to our demo plan. You'll notice how we've got the, the new one showing through. But we don't want to show these through, because it's a demo plan. So we actually have to create one more filter. Uh, one more filter to pretty much sell it to show the, the ones that are new. And you're thinking, oh, that's going to be hard. I have to sort all these out. Well, really, think about it. I go back to uh, my new work. And if I wanted to, I could put in this whole set. I'm going to put some more over here where they're kind of mixed in with the other ones. Just put them all in. Now, I've already told the guys that he, who know, we already know who's existing, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go VB. Okay. Go back to my filters and say I'm going to temporarily hide all the existing to remain. So only things we see in this view are the new stuff. Now I'm going to grab all these, put a big old window around, take just a moment, I grab the wire, all that good stuff, and if this doesn't show up, you just have to check your filters because maybe you didn't associate that element. Is it existing to remain? No. So see, when I check it, see that's a true no. 
this is a null. We have to set it to true now. There we go. So we just told the, every one of these they're not demo, and they're not, exi they're not existing in the demo, not existing to remain. So now you're thinking, what? Let's go back to our uh, demo plan. You'll notice that again, um, we still have this these guys showing up. We're going to create one more filter. And type in VV. In the VV on the Revit links, excuse me, on the filters, we create another new one. Edit a new. I create this guy, and I'm going to call new work. You can call it whatever you want. Hit OK. Again, like in a previous video, we have to consolidate our items. It's going to be wires and electrical. Again, once you set this up for the first time, it takes a, a little bit, but I can pass this from view to view and project to project so I don't have to do it again. So if new work, if it's electrical receptacle, electrical fixture, or a wire, and it has the existing to demo is set to no, and let's go back here and let's say existing to remain equals no. So if we had two no's, let's go ahead and hit OK on that. Now we've got a new filter. Let's go ahead and add it. So here we go, add a new filter in, new work, hit OK. So now we can say all new work, go away. <laughs> Whoop, wrong one, I sold them once, look at that. New work, go away, I hit OK. So now we have a way to filter it out. So now you can show existing to remain, new work, and demo. So now it's just a matter of switching things around. So I go in here, let's say I want to show my remaining work back on VV. Come back up, filters, and say show remain, turn that back on. Now the final step to this to really make it work is we're going to go here and right click, duplicate the view, excuse me, not duplicate, sorry about that, right click, create a view template. We can create a view template from this view and we're going to call it maybe new work. We'll try that one more time. This happens sometimes, click off the view and click back, right click, uh, create view template and I may call this, um, let's say in-house phasing or view phasing. This will be new work. Okay, I hit OK on that. And just to show you, this, and I say, well, save everything. Or now this may take a moment for me to run through, but I can uncheck every box except except filters. Okay, now I'm not going to do every one because it's going to take forever to do. But I check all these. Now I have a filter that is all it's going to do is pick up the phasing or the filters. Hit OK on that. Now let's see if it works. I'm going to go to my demo plan. I'm going to right click, duplicate the view and duplicate with detailing and we're going to call this copy one. Now notice right click apply template properties which one? How about we come down here and we say view phasing new work when I hit OK there we go. So now what we've done is it took a few steps but again a lot of this can be used from project to project in the future. We're going to set up the phases excuse me, we're going to set up the um, project parameters, we're going to set up the filters, then once we have the filters working, we sort out our, our equipment, and then we can actually create a view template to, uh, to uh, apply that in the future. So it does take uh, a little bit of setup, maybe the whoever the CAD manager or BIM manager is in the office can set these up and then you can run with it. So there you go, that is how we can quickly, well, I wouldn't say quickly, uh, take a few minutes and set up this system. And then from that point forward, the people in the office, it's easy. They just grab the element, and it's all about what is it? Is it existing to remain or existing to demo? No, it's neither of those, so it's new. There we go. We have transferred it from global to view. If you have any questions, check us out on the web, therevitguys.com.